My name is Jake Vilskevich. I'm the Assistant Area Management Biologist here down in Sitka for the Division of Sport Fish with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Part of what we're doing today is collecting samples from rockfish, both yellow eye and black rockfish. And some of those samples will be things like length, weight, otoliths, as well as reproductive tissue, which will let us get kind of an idea of the stock status, how rockfish are doing, how old they are at maturity, and the lengths associated with those parameters. We're focused on black and yellow eye rockfish for this study because we're trying to build a larger data set across the state. It's part of the statewide rockfish initiative. Rockfish are pretty important in the sport fishery and their harvest numbers have been increasing here in southeast and across the state since kind of the early 2000s. Black rockfish feature largely in that pelagic category which are those fish that live kind of in the water column versus the non-pelagic rockfish like the yellow eye which live a bit further down and kind of along the ocean floor. And so we're focused on sampling these rockfish because it helps us gain information to build our management practices to better enhance the sport fishery and harvest at a more sustainable level. Rockfish are really long lived organisms. We have some like the rough eye rockfish where we've reliably aged them to over 200 years old. Even some of the smaller rockfish like black rockfish, which feature really widely in the sport fishery, a two or three pound fish can be 20, 30, even 40 or 50 years old. So we wanna build a better data set to manage these fish conservatively. First step of our process is catching a rockfish. We go out fishing around pinnacles or other structure where we can get a rockfish and make sure that we get a rockfish that meets our criteria. So a black or yellow eye rockfish from the chosen area within the selected size category. Next, we take the rockfish to the warehouse and we lay out our sampling materials. The first thing we're gonna do with this rockfish is lay it out on our measuring board and get a good total length and a fork length. Our next step is going to be to weigh the rockfish. So we're gonna grab a scale and take its weight. From there, we're gonna cut open the rockfish and we're gonna take a look at what's inside. The things that we're looking for here are first of all the gonads, as well as the liver. The gonads are usually found towards the vent of the fish and two matching paired organs. For females, they're more globular in shape, which is to say round. And usually in mature females, you can sort of see the outline of eggs. For males, they're more triangular in cross section, and when they're mature, are more of an opaque white. We'll remove these from the fish and weigh them and photograph them. These gonads will then be cross-sectioned and stored in a fixative so that we can send these off to the lab and see just how reproductive these fish are. Next, we're gonna remove the liver and weigh that as well. From here, we're gonna take a weight of a whole gutted fish and record this in kilograms. After we've recorded the weight and we've taken all of our other samples from the fish, we're going to remove the otoliths. The otoliths are in your ear bones, float in fluid inside the brain cavity. We're gonna start by cutting open the top of the head and removing some of the soft tissue. Next, we'll reach inside with some tweezers and remove the otoliths. The otoliths are paired in solid white in color. The otoliths will then be placed inside a bag with all the relevant information that we can tie to this fish and sent to a lab to be aged. Otoliths grow like trees and that they have rings. At a lab, scientists can crack these open, count the rings, and age this fish accurately. For more information about rockfish conservation, feel free to check out our links below.